What's up, my first? Welcome back to another exciting video. I'm here with my main man, Pote, right back behind me. And we have a grand total of two rods, and I'll have to show you what we brought for baits. We brought almost nothing for baits. We are out at uh, Pote's Lake. You might be wondering where the boat is. Well, we don't got the boat today because we had some issues last time. Apparently, even though we were driving, um, just idling around, minding our own business, using the trolling motor only, there was a 90 horsepower limit at Pote's Lake. So they did not like the old 250 on the back of the boat and we got in a little bit of trouble so we're gonna go trespass a bunch of people's properties people are pretty friendly around here so we think we'll be okay but we're just gonna flip some docks from the bank today like i said very limited on tackle i'll show you what we brought in just a second but i brought my favorite dock flipping setup tater's ready to rip on some you can catch them yeah here we go tater's ready to go we already caught four pounders this weekend <sighs> There's big ones in here. There's good ones, there's small ones, there's all different sizes, there's catfish. We're gonna be targeting largemouth bass today. And it's not sunny right now, but it's kind of like partly cloudy, it's somewhat sunny. So we think the fish will be sucked up under docks. I hope so, otherwise we're probably not gonna catch any fish today. But what's what we're gonna do? We're just gonna kind of sneak a little stealth attack today, a little stealth mission like I'm sure a lot of you guys got um, when you're going out doing some bank fishing and hopefully it pays off with some docks. Let's do it. Okay, here we go. Time to catch some dack gum flunk jays kids over there swimming around Let's try to catch one right next to him old mr d bombs yep You bet. We're off to a good start with the old little two and a half pounder guy. Bye bud. Sweet. That's a good sign. That is the second dock we have flipped today. And I did it right in time because the boat just got back. Worked out well for us. Gonna have to be a little bit more of a stealth mission today than usual. Like I told you guys, I'm not I'm not for like trespassing and stuff. Or illegally fishing lakes you're not supposed to, but I'm just gonna kinda stealthily sneak around, flip some of these docks, hopefully catch a dock. Get out of there. Yep. Come here, bud. A little bit better one. For sure. <laughs> Here you go. He's right there. You guys catching some? Ah, oh, it's the second one. Yeah. It's a nice day for it, definitely. Beautiful out here. That was funny, that one was in the middle of the shore station. I flipped the right side of it several times, flipped the left side of it several times, flipped this dock several times, and I was like, screw it, I might as well throw a cast inside the shore station. Sure as hell, I felt the tick, and I was like, really? Of course, one's gonna bite when I gotta tear them over the top of this, but luckily I got a 20 pound fluoro, good flipping hook on and 7.6 heavy lux rod which is actually going to be very similar blank to my millican fishing series it's going to be out sooner than later in my first finally going to be here before too much longer um but yeah same power in this blank as i'm going to have in my flipping stick lifted him right up over the wood board now if it was like a five plus pounder i might have been waiting out there to lift him over that way or something but with the little two and a half three pound guy Sure worked out well. Oh, the water feels so good. What are you drying off for? I'm going to get something. Second layer. Second layer. I like it. Thanks, Mom. Get out of there. Oh. Oh. 
Well, little guy. No, nah, this one's smaller. Oh, that was sick. In between the pontoon. There's much larger ones in here though. Let's get one of those. So now that I lost my D-bomb, I'll show you guys the uh, the rig we're throwing here. This is, I think it's called candy grass, the color. I notice the water is like two and a half feet visibility, which is pretty clean around here, but basically just taking our four-aught, maybe five, I think it's a five-aught gamakatsu flipping hook. It's got a really good keeper on it. That's the most important thing for the flipping hook. And of course, stout, straight shank hook. Pull it straight. Important that this guy's straight because this guy will spin on the fall, which isn't the worst thing either, but I like it to fall straight. So that's how I'll rig mine. Uh, 5 16 ounce weight, 6 cents peg stopper keeper. I'll link it down below. But yeah, just basically flipping it out. I'm gonna let it fall straight down. It's important to let it fall straight down. And then I'm just popping it a couple inches up off the bottom. And these fish will just reload on these docks all day because this whole lake is sand bottom and there's nothing else for them to hold on. There's little riprap areas that barely go into the water in a few places, but just flipping in these docks right next to them. And sometimes into the middle of them at the shore station, as you guys saw a little bit ago. Over and over. Another one. Ah. Piss balls. That was the best one of the day so far. I fished like three docks total docks are looted i'm really gonna have to explore some more i'm just kind of going in between like hanging out with family drinking a beer or two coming back shoot they are freaking loaded in here i'll take it okay we caught a couple fish on the old d-bomb flipping in there good news since that's the only bit we brought um but we're gonna go explore now we, we do know that they are on docks which is absolutely freaking key but we're gonna take the car we're gonna go explore a couple more areas um, hopefully there's not people outside. There's people everywhere because it is 4th of July weekend. Feeling good about today. Where do we sneak on? Right here. Tater, you know all the secret spots. Like, I've literally watched these. A couple of them have people, but they haven't even gone like, out to the water or anything. Be polite. Get out of here. Okay, yeah, no problem. I'm starting with this one. It's got to be good because there's a badminton court here. You wouldn't build that there if it wasn't good fishing. Ow. Got one already. You bet. Tater, I told you there's fish in this lake. This guy doesn't know the drill yet. He doesn't know a lot. No, he doesn't. He's only been caught 10 times, not a thousand. So he's going to fight hard. Dock fishing, huh? He was freaking right under it. He bit it like six inches after it dropped immediately bye bud sunny days flipping docks and stuff i should retie but i'm not going to i'm gonna lose a big one instead like that guy he's living in the middle there are donks in here i swear you got a circle hook tater we should use him for bait so guys, this is the uh, this is the thing of tackle I brought. We have like five D bombs. Got this more natural color. We got a couple black and blue type guys. We got some uh, tungsten weights, like quarter to three eighth ounce tungsten weights, and six cents peg stoppers because we got to peg our weight, of course, because we're flipping docks. That's what I like to do. And straight shank flipping hooks, like three of them. That's it. If they're not eating this, we got issues. That's what we're throwing today, though. Tater and I caught some freaking ginormous ones back here, like six plus pounders in the pre-spawn back in the old days when we used to be able to fish here in the old boat but hey we're out here now we're making the most of it we got fireworks going on forgot to mention the lake's a circus there's about 72 million people 32 million dogs i don't know there's probably cats there's some statues over there we saw some alligators earlier on the side things are happening out here today I'm going over there to that dock and I'm gonna rip a lip. 
maybe get kicked out. We'll see. God, there's bluegills everywhere back here. Taylor was just saying, too, this water is like way freaking cleaner than it generally is, which again should help our dock flipping this. There's nothing for them to hold on besides the dock, so feeling good about her. Holy snake. Check out that bull snake. I swear, I'm like, I tracked the bull snakes lately, apparently. If you guys like the Wyoming video, we should try to catch that guy. Let's see if he's eating the D-bombs today. Nope. He's not one for the D-bombs. You gotta kind of be careful because there is water snakes around here and those some bitches are supposedly poisonous. I think that's just a bull snake, though. I'll stop playing with them now and try to catch donk. Sorry. All right, so I'm gonna give you guys a little just the tip. And usually when I'm telling you guys this, I'm being smart ass or I'm dicking around or I'm saying something super obvious and trying to exercise my stupid sense of humor. But this time I'm gonna be serious. I'm gonna tell you guys just the tip that I feel is super, super important that I've over the years come to find out with frog fishing, which is extremely difficult for beginners and people just getting into it. People that have been doing it for a long time to catch a better percentage of their fish and that is you need to wait on your hook set with dock flipping um especially doing stuff like we're doing today where we're kind of flipping the outsides of these docks you know we're not flipping super super deep into a lot of them um but when you get a bite it's usually gonna be like a tick it's gonna be weight and they're just gonna slowly swim off to the side almost every single one of these dock bites are like this and i flip a lot of docks i spend a lot of time doing this and this bait is super gummy and soft this d-bomb that i throw which i have no affiliation with missile baits or anything but I flipped this a ton, I get a ton of bites on it. It's just a really good profile, barely any kicking action, but just enough looks like a dying bluegill, crawdad, whatever. But anyways, when you get that bite and you feel the tick, don't freaking swing for the fence. Take your time, make sure it's a bite, let that fish get a little bit deep. And it seems like a long time for me because I feel like I have decent reaction time. I do this quite a bit, but maybe just like a, a full second, like a one second count of watching that fish, tick the bait, start swimming, reel up your slide, get yourself in position, and that initial hook set, just like it is in the frog bite and everything like I talk about all the time, that first hook set is super, super important. Um, just pinning that fish with this really stout straight shank hook is gonna keep that fish hooked up a lot more than if you feel the tick and you're just swinging on slack line and you're not a position, which happens a lot when you're getting bit because you're popping that bait up, you're flipping way underneath, you're picking backlashes out and stuff like that. Feel a bite, give it a second, set yourself up, reel up that slack and really lean into them on that initial hook set. And then if one is really bound up inside that dock or something, hold pressure on them. Usually they'll work themselves out uh, or if they don't, get up to them. You know, get out on the dock if you're bank fishing or else zip up to it on your trolling motor on the boat, hold that slack there. Um, because you don't really, you do not want to pull too hard. You'll break off. I've broken off tons and tons of fish, even with 20 and 25 pound fluorocarbon, just by trying to pull them out of that dock. Take your time, go get it if you can. You'll catch a lot more fish. And this has been just a tip. There we go. There we go. Yeah, bud. Come here. yelling at tater over there giving him the old thumbs up he saw he saw this fish it counts we don't want to yell though because there's people here we're not really supposed to be here right now but not a giant little two pound guy he's a little beat up okay and he's crazy get back in the water chief oh there he goes that's one way in i suppose show you guys what we got going on we're doing the old oh god that's destroyed just kidding okay now i'll show you what we're using d-bomb texas rigged candy ass color i'll take it okay my first got a little bit dark on us last night but had a good time at taters lake as always flipping the docks you know i don't think we could cover quite enough water to go catch a big one i was hoping we could mix one in here and there because when we fished it in the pre-spawn in the spring every time we went out there we caught two or three over five pounds five to six and a half pounders so so it's a little bit bummed we didn't get those but hey if, if you guys are met with this situation a lot of you guys are out having fun with the family and stuff this time of year in the summer take a rod with you and i would 
strongly advise to take a rod like this if the dock has, uh, has if the dock if the lake has docks in it because this V-bomb straight shank hook pegged way this six cents lux flipping stick absolutely a perfect rod you can go flip whatever you can flip brush hogs you know creature baits beaver style baits like that one craw baits jigs stuff like that uh, but I'll link everything down below that I used in the video. Hopefully next time we go out there, we'll be able to figure out the boat situation and catch some more. But uh, I'm getting this guy loaded up right now. I'm going to do some more fishing, so you guys will have to check back in for that. And then Paxton's here too. So me and the dab master will be uh, hopefully going and finding some source. Comment down below. What, what do you guys want to see? I freaking want to know what you guys want to see. But thanks so much for watching this one. Up first, go hit the subscribe button right now. Out of here. I'm not sorry, I can't help this love like mine.